The two tries that they scored where Ben Young's exploited our pillar defenders, I thought those, those were really soft. And Basics of pillar defence, who is responsible for what? Because we seem to have been completely yeah. um, beaten in that facet of the game. And the second defender, who's Peter Stefter Toy, does not control him. Once he goes for the interception, the second he doesn't know really who to go for. Two dummies, two tries. So it's a lack of understanding of his role and what he's got to do. The third player, now those two guys should be a metre, a metre and a half apart because it all happens in him on the inside. If he knew what his role was, he'd yep. kill Youngs there. He'd smash him. Yeah, it was, uh, it was difficult in the beginning. Um, I didn't get a lot of Preparation there, um, when I started getting into the, the spring box, um, I didn't actually play flank for my franchise where I played at the Sharks at stage. Um, so when I got into the box set up, I, uh, they, they pushed me into flank. And there's something I really enjoyed. I enjoy playing flank, even at school level. But uh, you just have to, have to have that preparation, that mental shift where you go from lock into flank and just getting uh, used to the defensive systems as well as you can see there i made a few mistakes but i guess that's part of the game that's that's how we learn as well uh yeah peter stefter toy being a uh, player of the year obviously it's a, it's a massive honor uh, i think the first thing that i have to mention about peter steff is you know i think uh, when a player carries his heart on his sleeve like he does and he and, and he shows what the springbok jersey means for him and it's not just saying it in words, it's actually following it up by actions on the field. I think then you've got pretty much uh, the perfect player you want to coach. And obviously players go through ups and downs and form sometimes uh, uh, goes through ups and downs. But you know, if your heart is always committed, uh, you know, your, your form will come back. And I think Peter Steff, uh, everybody's always talk about the way he can play. And, and sometimes I didn't see all of those things until I started working with him. Uh, you know, he's a guy that just always put the team ahead of, him, of himself. Um, and the remarkable thing I, I must say about him uh, is that you know he gives you the same output at lock that he gives you at, at flank. And I guess sometimes people feel we are messing him around, but the way he, he puts the team ahead, you know, it sometimes just helps you out to get a guy like that, and also to to show other players that you know nobody is bigger than the team. So yeah, I think. Uh, you know, if that's the way uh, people carry the Springbok badge, then, then our, our country and our rugby team is in good hands. Yeah, that's, it's, a, it's a wonderful to hear stuff like that. Um, but I guess it's, uh, it just comes to, down to the hard work and uh, working with the right people. Um, I was lucky enough to, to have role models in my life from a young age. So I guess uh, I can't take any credit for that. It's definitely the people who played a massive role. All the coaches I went through from a young age still where I am now today, it's it played a massive role in my, in my career. And, and yeah, it's, it's nice to, to be able to play for the Springboks. It just, it's an unbelievable feeling for, to know that. And every player in South Africa, every young guy in South Africa wants to play for the Springboks. And I'm one of the guys that was lucky enough to got the opportunity and, and, and received the talent to play for the Springboks. So, it's an unbelievable honour and, and a massive uh, privilege for me. Rugby is a, it's a very interesting sport. A lot of people think you, you just have to have talent to play. Um, but as you can see, you, you can't just play as an individual. You have to play as a team together as well. But if the individual doesn't perform, the team, the team will struggle as well. So you have to, to put your own performance up there as well. So getting, getting coached in a national team is it's a, it's very important. Um, getting proper coaching and through the very aspects as well. And it just shows you what sort of big difference coaches made in my life as well. I'm just focusing on some stuff I needed to focus on and trying to improve some, some phases in my game where I needed to improve as well.